everyone. Welcome to Phonics with Miss Renu. I'm Miss Renu. In this lesson, we're going to learn about animal phonics. Are you ready? It's time to learn. In this lesson, which is lesson four, we're going to learn animal phonics. In other words, I'm going to teach you the phonetic sound and I'm going to teach you an animal that begins with that sound. And of course, I'll add one interesting fact for each animal. Let's begin. This is a, ah, a ah for ant. Can you say a ah, ant? Ants are tiny little insects. They're known as social animals. Can you take your little fingers and make ants that are crawling? A ah, for ant. This is b for bear. Can you say b bear? Do you know bears are very smart, intelligent animals? Bears love to eat honey. Can you pretend to be a bear and lick honey? Mmm, yummy. B for bear. This is k, k for cow. Can you say k, cow? Do you know cows are herbivores, which means they love to eat plants and grass. When cows munch on grass, this is what they do. Can you pretend to be a cow and eat grass? K, cow. This is d for deer. Can you say d, deer? Deers have horns on their heads. Can you put your fingers on your head and make horns and pretend to be a deer? D, deer. This is e for elk. Can you say e, elk? Elk are the cousins of the deer. In other words, they too have horns on their head. Elks can run very fast. Can you run fast? This is f for flamingo. Can you say f flamingo? Flamingos are beautiful birds that are pink in color. And do you know they get their pink color from the food they eat? Flamingos like to stand on one leg. Can you pretend to stand on one leg and be a flamingo? F flamingo. This is g for gorilla. Can you say g gorilla? Gorillas are the cousins of us humans and of course monkeys and apes. When gorillas are angry, they pound their chest like this. Can you put your hands on your chest and pound your chest like a gorilla and go g g? G for gorilla. This is h for hippo. Can you say h hippo? Hippos are huge water animals. They love to spend their time in the muddy waters. They're actually called river horses. Can you say river horse? Ha, hippo. This is i for iguana. Can you say i, iguana? Iguanas are the cousins of the lizards. Do you know iguanas love to eat insects with their sticky tongues? Can you stick your tongue out like this and pretend to eat an insect? I, iguana. This is j for jaguar. Can you say j, jaguar? Jaguar are the cousins of the cats. And do you know these animals can run super fast? Can you say j, jaguar? This is k for kangaroo. Can you say k, kangaroo? Kangaroos live in Australia and they carry their babies in their little pouches. Their babies are called joeys. Kangaroos can jump very fast. Can you jump around the room like a kangaroo? This is l for leopard. Can you say l, leopard? Leopards are the cousins of the cats. Leopards are also very fast when they run and they have spots on their bodies. Can you think of another animal that has spots on their bodies? That's right, l for leopard and l for ladybug. This is m for moose. Can you say m, moose? Moose are the cousins of the elks, and they too have horns on their heads. Moose are very large and can be very lazy animals. Can you say m, moose? This is n for nightingale. Can you say n, nightingale? Nightingale are beautiful birds and they sing so sweetly. They know how to whistle. Can you whistle like a nightingale? N, nightingale. This is O for octopus. Can you say O, octopus? Octopus have eight legs which they use for swimming in the water. 
Can you put your hands out and pretend to be an octopus? Oh, octopus. This is per full porcupine. Can you say per porcupine? Porcupine are the cousins of the rats. The only difference is they have sharp, pokey little spikes on their body. Be careful, don't touch them. This is qua for quoker. Can you say qua quoker? Quoker are the cousins of the kangaroos, but they are known to be the world's happiest animals because they're so playful and happy. What do you do when you're happy? Give me your happy face and your happy smile. This is r for raccoon. Can you say r raccoon? Raccoons are nocturnal animals, which means they keep awake all night. And when they sleep, they like to snore. Can you snore like a raccoon? <sighs> Now don't fall asleep in my class. Stay awake. We're almost at the end. This is s for swan. Can you say s swan? Swan are the cousins of the ducks except they're beautiful and white and they're so huge and they can fly. Can you say s swan? Can you pretend to be a swan and swim in a pond? S swan. This is t for tarantula. Can you say t tarantula? Tarantulas are the cousins of the spiders, but you better stay away from this one. They're very poisonous. Can you say t tarantula? This is a for umbrella bird. Can you say a uh, umbrella bird? Do you know why they call it an umbrella bird? Look at its feathers. It looks like it has an umbrella on its head. What do you use an umbrella for? This is v for vampire bats. Can you say v vampire bats? These vampire bats are the cousins of the bats, and the only difference is they have very sharp teeth. And you better stay away from these ones because they like to bite. V for vampire bats. This is w for walrus. Can you say w walrus? The walrus are very huge animals that love to live in water, and they use their flippers for swimming. Can you flip your hands like this and pretend to be a walrus? W walrus. This is x for ox. Can you say x ox? Ox are the cousins of the cows, except they're very large animals. Sometimes they're called bullocks, and they eat lots of grass. Can you say x ox? This is y for the yellow ground squirrel. Yes, that's a long word. Can you say y yellow ground squirrel? The yellow ground squirrel is the cousin of the squirrel, and it loves to eat nuts. Squirrels sleep during winter time. And you sleep during the night time. Yeah, yellow ground squirrel. This is z for zebra. Can you say z zebra? Zebras are the cousins of the horses, and the only difference is zebras have black and white stripes that make them look so beautiful. They live in Africa. Z for zebra. Well, I hope you enjoyed my animal phonics lesson four. Before we wrap up, I'm going to show you all the animals again. And you're going to have to say the sound of the alphabet and the name of the animal. Have fun and see you at the next lesson.